What hand is he given the Pope to shake? What hand is that? The right hand of fellowship. That's it right there. Bottom left of your screen. The quotation says, it is a backsliding church that lessens the distance between. That does what, friends? Lessens the distance. Lessens the distance between itself and the papacy. Come back to me over here, my friends. You know what came to my mind? One policy to combat the transmission of pestilence 19 is what? You stand here. Rest of you stand here. What, what do we call that? So short distance, six feet apart. But how close is Ganundia to Pope Francis? Where is the social religious distance? Might as well he hugged the Pope. And how do we know he did not do so? And remember, he didn't go there by his own intuition or his own uh, direction or directive. Where is the public remonstrance for this from the leaders of the SDA General Conference? They are all implicated. Gunundiya, Seventh-day Adventists should be social distancing, religious distancing from the Pope of Rome, religiously distancing themselves from the Pope of Rome. If you agree, just say amen, my friend. Amen. And not six feet either. Amen. But let there be a chasm between us and Pope Ray. Amen. And make sure there's no bridge. Let there be a, a wide gulf between Protestantism, Seventh-day Adventism, and Jesuitism, and Pope Ray. All right, get back to the screen. Another quote Sister White says, tell me, it says, many, red words, many, will plead that there is no prospect that Popery will ever be revived. So now we can do away with social distancing and religiously dis distancing ourselves from Popery because many believe Popery of the present is not Popery of the past. That Popery has changed. That's why you can see a picture top left of your screen. But what says the Bible? Has Popery changed? What animal depicts the papacy in Revelation 13? And what's the leopard? And what primarily bodily the leopard? Not only leopard. And what says Jeremiah 13 about the leopard? It cannot change its spots. Read on. Blue words. If Popery, if it shall regain its lost ascendancy, it will be by whom? By Protestantism's giving it the right hand of fellowship. Notice, normally we look in the world to see events. The deadly wound is being healed. This says, you can see it. The deadly wound is about to be healed when Protestants, so-called, are giving the Pope the what? Right hand of fellowship. Have we done that? Not we. Have we done that? Yes. Daniel would pray, we have seen. Have we done that? Have we done that? Is the deadly wound about to be healed completely? All right, friends. Are we seeing it, friends? The right hand of fellowship in our churches? Yes. Do we see it in our Sabbath school lesson guide? Yes. Since I've covered that, won't spend much time on this? Yes. All over the place? Yes. Notice here, my friends, it says, this contest, next quote, is to decide whether the pure gospel shall have the field in our nation or whether the popery of the past, popery of past ages, shall receive the right hand of fellowship from Protestantism. Let's read. And this power prevail to restrict religious liberty. Sister White says, red words, the struggle is what, friends? Right upon us. We are years behind. And yet, men in what positions? Read that with me. Is Ganundia in, re in responsible position? Yet men in responsible positions will in their blindness keep the key of knowledge, refusing to enter themselves. Mercy. 
simultaneously hindering those who would enter. Do you know what they would call such messages? Such public remonstrance of so-called Seventh-day Adventists, a Protestant so-called, giving the right hand of fellowship to popery. They would call me and such messages a troublemaker. That pastor, Andrew Enriquez, is a troublemaker. What did they label Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 17? Ahab said, Art thou he that what? Troubleth Israel. What was Ahab doing? With whom did Ahab marry? Who did, who did he marry? He married Jezebel. Who is Jezebel of the last days, my friends? Who is Jezebel of the last days? So Ahab would have been the progenitor of Ganundia. And Jezebel, the progenitor of the Pope of Rome. So who cares if they call us troublemakers in Israel? Let's gladly bear the term, the epithet, troublemaker. My friends, we'd ra we should rather be a troublemaker among men by calling them to repentance then we find ourselves as a compromiser Amen. in the sight of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wait a minute. Get back here. Black words underline the message must go where? Under a bushel, right? Broadcast. Broadcast with your voice. Broadcast. Use even the internet now. The message must go broadcast. That those who have been imperceptibly tampering with popery, not knowing what they were doing, may what? May hear. So pass this over to Ted Wilson and Ganundia and the rest of them who are quiet with apostasy. Blue words, they are fraternizing. What does that mean? Fraternity. Oh, I can't preach on that right now. Let me give you a hint of it. What is the new encyclical from the Pope called? Fratelli Tutti. Fratelli. What does that mean? Fraternity. <laughs> Can't go there right now. Blue words. They are fraternizing with pulpit by what? Compromises and by what? Concessions which surprise even whom? The adherents of the papacy. I thought you were Protestants. Do you think the Pope does not know who Seventh-day Adventists are? How do, you think the, how do you think a Jesuit Pope felt to see Ganundiop in his presence? By the way, when he saw the name on the agenda, he may have asked, who is this Ganundiop? A Seventh-day Adventist? Coming to meet me? Imagine what went through his mind. And the devil was licking his chops. Come back here. My friend, is the Sunday law near, my friends? Yes. 